Good morning, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> we have gathered this morning on this second Thursday of Easter, that God may bless us and lead us to plan and focus for that which is right. Let us pray. Oh God, source of life, we thank you for the day that you have given to us. We thank you for your love. Thank you for your protection. We ask you to bless us once again as we gather to worship you. Speak to us in your word. Speak to us in the fellowship that we have. Father, grant above all else that our minds may be heavenly, that we may be opened to your spirit, that, Lord, we may live and act to promote your kingdom here on earth. May all that prevents us and those of the world from establishing your kingdom be subdued. And may all that promote your kingdom and its righteousness, may they stand. Grant unto us your children that we may participate fully in the establishment of your kingdom here on earth. Bless that which is dear to us. Draw all men unto yourself, especially our family, our friends, our enemies, and indeed the people of our land. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We shall take the readings for the day. The reading is taken from John chapter 3, verse 31 to 36. John chapter 3, verse 31 to 36. I take the reading. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. He who believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. Beloved, the Gospel of the Lord. A little bit of silence reflection on the word.
Arise, Catholic faithful. Rejoice and renew. This morning, our text of scripture continues the invitation of Jesus to Nicodemus and to the world and to those of us today to live in the spirit, to live like we are from above. You know, sometimes when a child goes to behave or does something outside, one of the things that anybody would say, who is the mother of this child? Who is the father? Where does he come from? What church does he attend? What society does he belong? Why does he or she behave that way? Because it is assumed that where you are coming from or where you intend to go usually determines your motivation. If you have been born earthly, if your mind is earthly, if you come from the earthly source and your destination is earthly, then the conclusion is just straight. So we will ask, does somebody see me and ask, what God created this person so special? You are that person. Does somebody see you and give glory to God for the problems that you are in and yet you are able to speak of faith? Those of us who are earthly always remain earthly. And those of you who are spiritual will forever remain spiritual. The one who comes is from above. Yem pin bibri ya tise. A kwala kwa bonti no koko ye bibia ni bisa. Nani ma mini wai. La kwala we su di ni papa ni wanya. A sorry ben woko. If ye ben no free mu. Saswan o kristo ni. O fun in tuma pefra. No koko ye papa. O bi to mi bisa se na asori ben na wuko. And on a year, Bissa and in a near Jesus, and he a cassa say, New officer, no, not draining in a near yen in a fissuro. New few form, ne dear, ne cassa and in a near yen in a if reform. Jesus says, He testifies to what he has seen and what he has heard, but no one accepts his testimony. My dear brother, today we. And this morning, it is all about Jesus. Sometimes when the teaching is just about Jesus, 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 people think that this point is too much because you want us to go to the point where it will be about you. You want us to go to the point where it will be about your blessing. You want us to get to the point where it will be about your prayer. But devotion is all about about Jesus. In Pibo, Ninara, Edina Jesus or so. Yan may be more trains at the Ben the bedroom in Midian so. The Ben or software overcut near Miss Wehiami. Nin ye hear wounding your back ever bomb by ye. Name on Christ in tea. It is about Christ. His name is Christos from the Greek. That means the Messiah. Nidin Christ, you know, actually said, near Obedia Ephia Bonimo. And then they hear Christ, you know. His name Christos means he is from Christ. He comes from Christ. And he comes to take us and makes us like him. So the more we go to him, but if we look at Christiana, that is, in the company of Christ. 
so that we are not Christ, but we are in the company of Christ, or we are being called to become like the Christos. Christ, no. This morning, and like any other morning, our prayer is simple. I want to be like you. I want to be like Christian, like Christ. I want to be like Christ. I want to be like Christ. I want to speak like Christ. I want to think like Christ. I want to live like Christ. Everything that you do today, everything, the air that you breathe, you must say and desire and you must pray for it. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. And whoever disobeys him does not see life. To see here, it's just like as Jesus said that if you are born of the water and the spirit, you shall see the kingdom. To see here means to experience. And if you do disobey the Son of God, the wrath of God remains on you. And upon the way, when you come to the assembly, you say, "Nia obeji medino, obenya inkwa enye wiye, nia wenyi medino." Which one do you want? The father loves the son and gave all things into his hand. That is why he is called Christ, Messiah. Everything in his, is, is in his hands. Now we are fortunate to be called Christiana, meaning we are in the company of the chosen one and you share in this glory what is your prayer this morning what is your desire this morning my desire is in my song that i say lord i want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart. In my heart. In a my heart, in a my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in a my heart. I want to be a Christian. I want to act like Christ. I want to become the Christian Anna. And so my prayer this morning is, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Sing along with me wherever you are. In my heart, in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Now we have put it in a song. We want to open our lips and worship God. Let's just say to him this morning, Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. I want to be like Christ in my heart. 
As we have projected the prayer of deliverance, I just want you to go through it and speak to the darkness, the areas of darkness in your life and say, mention the areas and say, behold the cross of the Lord. Speak to with to God and ask God to deliver you right now. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Watch, Jesus says, as the son of the son of man will be lifted up. Look at the cross. Look at the cross cross of Jesus is the source of life. May the cross of Jesus cause deliverance in your life. May the cross of Jesus break every yoke. May the through the cross of Jesus may you rise up and walk today. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. The Lord be with you. Your mighty God. The life above. Bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.